Hello everyone, this is uh, Mr. P. In this lesson we're going to look at sentence structure and sentence types. So we have four sentence types. Simple, compound, complex, compound, complex. Compound, complex, we're going to look at them in another video. So let's start. By now you know that Every sentence has a subject and a predicate, right? These are the elements of every sentence. Like, for example, Mary plays tennis, basic elements. So Mary is a subject, predicate plays tennis. You know that in the predicate, we start the predicate with a verb, like in, in this case, plays. Simple sentence. Well, a simple sentence has one sentence and one predicate. For example, we went to Hamilton yesterday. We is a pronoun. Went is a verb. To Hamilton is a prepositional phrase. So we have we, simple, subject. And went to Hamilton is a complete predicate, right? Because went is a verb right there. It's the past of to go. Now, we have Mary plays tennis, so one subject, one predicate. Simple, right? What happens if we have two, like in this case, two subjects, Tom and Mary? That's a compound subject. What happens if we have two verbs, like play tennis and swim? So, compound predicate, because we have two, so... Compound subject, Tom and Mary. Compound predicate, play tennis and swim. Oh, notice that we have and. So, Tom and Mary play tennis and swim. A compound sentence has more than one part that can stand alone. That, that is also called an independent clause. Independent clauses are connected by coordinating conjunctions, conjunctive verbs, or a semicolon. Like here, we went to Hamilton and, most of us, danced all night. So let's look at the structure. We went to Hamilton and most of us danced all night. We have we as a subject, and most of us as a subject do. Then we have a verb, went, and danced, it's a verb. To Hamilton is a prepositional phrase, like I said. Then all nights we have a modifying phrase. Coordinating conjunction, and predicate, went to Hamilton and danced all night. They are both independent clauses, connected with a coordinating conjunction, in this case, and. So, subject predicate, subject predicate connected with and, right? Yes, as simple as that. Like, for example, Tom swims and Mary plays tennis. Coordinating conjunctions, they are for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so. Remember the acronym FANBOYS, F for for, A for and, N for nor, B for but, O for or, Y for yet, and S for so. Oh, don't forget the comma before the compound sentences. So Tom swims, comma, and Mary plays tennis. So don't forget to write a comma before a coordinating conjunction. In this case, and. Complex sentences. So a complex sentence has at least two parts, one that can stand alone and another one that cannot stand alone, obviously. The part that cannot stand alone is linked to the rest of the sentence by what? By a subordinating conjunction. For example, since my boyfriend and I wanted to have fun, we went to Hamilton yesterday. Ah. Since is a subordinating conjunction. And let's look at the structure. 
since we wanted to have fun, that's a subordinating conjunction, since part that cannot stand alone because we have a subordinating conjunction. Subject we, predicate, went to Hamilton yesterday. So you can see the part that cannot stand alone starts with a subordinating conjunction. The other one is called an independent clause, right? Because it can stand alone. Uh, the most common subordinating conjunctions are after, although, as, because, before, how, if, once, since, then, that, though, till, until, when, were, whether, and while. There are many others, okay? Like, for example, even though, that I'm going to give you right now um, an example. Bob is popular, even though he's shy. So we have an independent clause here, Bob is popular, then dependent clause, because we, we start the dependent clause with a subordinating conjunction, even though. We can even say, even though Bob is shy, comma, so dependent clause, he's popular. Independent clause. So we said that subordinating conjunctions start a dependent clause. Now, let's practice. Say if the following sentences are simple, compounds, or complex. The bell rang. Bridget ran the first part of the race and Tara biked the second part. He stands at the bottom of the cliff while the climber moves up the rock. The skier turned and jumped. You may pause the video. Now, the answers. Number one, simple. Number two, compound. Number two, complex. Number four, simple. You got it right? Okay, let's try another one. Because Kayla has so much climbing experience, we asked her to lead our group. Number two, you and I need piano lessons. Number three, I plan to go to the hockey game, but I couldn't get tickets. Number four, Dorothy likes whitewater rafting, but she also enjoys kayaking. So pause the video. Now let's find the answers. Number one, complex. Number two, simple. Number three, compounds. Number four, compounds. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you got the right answers. If you have enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel, like the video, and share it. If you have any questions, write them under the video. Have a great day then. Until next time. Bye-bye.